สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So today I have another recipe for a classic Thai curry to share with you. But first, a little backstory of why I decided to make this recipe. So in the beginning of the lockdown, when people were starting to panic buy groceries, I was very determined to not be one of those people. I thought, you know what? It's fine. I'll just get what I need. I show up at the store, and the shelves are looking kind of empty. Then I started to panic, and so I went and started buying all these dried and canned goods that I would never normally buy. And there I was with canned pineapples, which I don't even like. I never buy canned pineapple because I don't like. I'd rather cut up a fresh pineapple. But here we are with canned pineapple. So I've been staring at it for a long time. Then I realized, oh, I can make a pineapple curry. It's the perfect place to use pineapple, uh, canned pineapple. Because the curry flavor itself is so strong that you don't really need, you know, the most delicious of pineapple to make a good one. Still haven't told you the name of the dish. We are making what's called gang kua saparot. Gang kua is a type of red curry. Saparot is pineapple, and today we're gonna make ours with gung or shrimp. Let's get started. So of course you can make this using fresh pineapple if you want, but if you're using canned, um, you want to get pineapple chunks because you want nice big pieces, and you want to get one that's packed in pineapple juice, not syrup. Super easy. What we're gonna do with the pineapple first? Yes, we're gonna do something to the pineapple. We're gonna first drain the juice, and we're not gonna use this juice, like the juice in the can. But what I like to do is I mix this with some sparkling water and then make like a nice pineapple soda with it. So you just keep that for drinks or whatever. Now these pineapples are completely saturated in liquid right now, so they're not going to absorb curry flavor very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze the juice out of them. Take pineapples in your hand and you squeeze. And you would do this even with the fresh pineapple. You want to get them kind of flabby, and they turn into sort of a fibrous thing, almost like a pineapple brush. And then what happens here is once you put this into the curry, it has room to soak up the curry sauce. Otherwise, you just get kind of like this piece of pineapple that hasn't really mingled with the curry sauce. Okay, so see how much juice now the pineapple is sitting in. That's exactly what we want. We're still gonna add all this juice into the curry, but now you've made room for the curry to tuck itself into. The next thing we're gonna do is deal with our dry shrimp. Now this is completely my own trick. In Thailand, this dish is typically made with dried mussels. Can't find dried mussels here, so in order to get that dried seafood flavor, I thought I would add some dried shrimp into the curry. But I don't necessarily want like chunks of dried shrimp because I just want to extract the flavor. So I'm going to blitz them in a coffee grinder until they're really, really fine. Ooh, shrimp fluff! I love it. You might smell this and go, "Oh, that's really strong." But once it mixes in with everything, it'd be really subtle. Okay, that's all the prep. Everything else is really straightforward. Let's get cooking. So this is a good opportunity for me to do like a Thai curry 101 with you. So we're gonna start by reducing some of my coconut milk, and that's gonna be reduced down into just the fatty bit, and then we'll use that to saute our curry paste. So while I'm waiting for that to come to a boil, let's talk curry paste a little bit. So I'm using red curry paste for this, and in Thailand there are actually a, a few varieties of red curry paste. There's some that's called gang kua, which is what we're making right now, and there's some that's called gang pet, which is sort of your classic red curry. It's ambiguous. How these are different at all? And a lot of people just use the two interchangeably. You just use the gang pet. Curry for to make gang kua. So, so just use red curry paste. What I'm trying to say is just use red curry paste. You can make it. I have a recipe. I'll include in the written post, or you can use store bought, which is what I do now because I have a baby and I just don't have any time to make my own curry paste anymore. Um, okay, so my coconut water, coconut water, coconut milk has come to a boil. I am going to just add my curry paste in right now. Now, in my in some of my previous videos, you might have seen me reduce the coconut milk first, get it oily first, and then add the curry paste. You can do it either way. You'll end up with the same thing at the end of the day. I just find that if the curry paste is quite dry and clumpy, adding it while there's still a little bit of liquid in the pot just allows you to break it up more easily. 
and then you might start to see the coconut oil starting to break apart from the paste. That's exactly what you're looking for. The curry paste is now sort of frying in that oil. However, this may not happen for you because some coconut milk has been sort of homogenized and they've got, you know, binders and things added to them to prevent exactly this from happening. So especially if you're using the canned coconut milk. So if this doesn't happen and your paste is super thick, just, just move on with it. It's fine. Okay, so now that it's had some time to sizzle in that coconut oil, I am going to add the rest of my coconut milk. Now I'm going to thin this out a little bit by adding some water. You can also do unsalted chicken stock if you have some sitting in the fridge. Yes, and you see that bright red color floating on top. That's the coconut oil that split out. This needs to simmer for about five minutes to allow the curry paste, all the herbs and the spices in the curry paste to really mingle with the coconut milk so you get a more cohesive flavor in the sauce. But meanwhile, we also want to add my dried shrimp fluff. And I'm also going to throw in some kaffir lime leaves or what we call baimakru. And that is going to add some citrusy freshness to the curry. It will just kind of brighten everything up. You want to be kind of bruised and tear in one motion so that the essential oils come out. Before I let this simmer, I'm also going to add some the pineapple in there so that the pineapple has time to simmer and absorb all that. Uh, all that flavor. So there, all the juice and all the chunks. See, I am usually not a pineapple on pizza kind of person, but pineapple in curry, that's a different story. Okay, we'll give that five minutes to allow all the flavors to mix and mingle. Oh, look at that. There is something about watching curry simmer that is so, so satisfying. I just love it. Okay, so now we're gonna season this curry. I've given you a range of how much fish sauce to use. You have to add it to taste because the saltiness is gonna depend on your curry paste. So I'm adding just some chopped up palm sugar, but you can totally do white sugar or brown sugar. It's such a small amount, it's not gonna make a difference. And some tamarind. So this curry is a slightly sweet and sour kind of curry. So you want the tartness to be prominent and I find that it's not quite enough just from canned pineapple alone. If you're using fresh pineapple that's quite tart, maybe it's enough. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of tamarind and if you wanna know what this tamarind is, how you use it, how you make it, so forth. I will link to a video where I talk through how you make your own tamarind paste cooking tamarind, I'm going to call it from now on. Uh, how you make your own cooking tamarind for Thai cooking, I'll link to that below. And also, if you're wondering about what brand of curry paste to use, how do you choose a good one, so on and so forth. I also have a video on Curry Paste 101. I will link to that in the description below. Okay, now let's give it a taste. Mmm, oh, I think that's a great level of sourness. So I'm tasting for the curry to be a little tart, a little sweet. I'm going to add a little bit more fish sauce. And it's a little bit too sour right now, so I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar, which will balance out the sourness. And I haven't added my protein, which is gonna be shrimp. And the reason is like, you do not want shrimp to be sitting here simmering away. And then you're taking like two minutes to taste and adjust because shrimp overcooks really quickly. So you kind of want to get your sauce where it needs to be and then add the shrimp. And shrimp generally don't really, you know, end up altering too much of the sauce flavor at the end. Now I'm gonna add my bell pepper, which is gonna be my bright red vegetable. You can add spur chilies if you're in Thailand, prick chi fa, which is more classic. I'm gonna give that about a minute to soften. Okay, so let's talk protein. So I like to do shrimp, you can do squid, you can do even fish if you want, like a, a salmon or a trout might be really good in this. Okay, give that one more minute. If you're using electric, electric, electric stovetop, you might even be able to turn it off right now because you have a lot of residual heat from the cooking, uh, from the burner. I'm gonna turn mine off because I'm using a cast iron pot, which also retains a lot of heat. Look at them. They're done already. Look how, look how beautiful this curry is. It just looks luscious. I'm gonna do just a final taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Mmm. 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 
Before we move on, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. It's the perfect place to learn a new skill or to just try out a new hobby. Skillshare has classes on tons of different subjects like photography, interior design, productivity, and yes, they got cooking classes too. And my favorite part is that most of their classes are less than 60 minutes long, so it's really easy to squeeze a class into a busy schedule. One of my favorite that I finished was How to Brew an Amazing Cup of Coffee by Michael Phillips. And let me tell you, I was so surprised once I applied what I learned how much better my coffee tastes now. The best part is the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free premium membership for two months. So you can try out as many classes as you want. And then after that, it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And I will link to everything in the description below. Look at that. And it's such a weeknight friendly meal too. Like that whole thing came together in, I don't know, like 15 minutes. Okay enough dishing. Let's just eat. I am too hungry. I'm gonna take some pineapple, some shrimp. Bell peppers are nice, but let's face it, that is not why we're here. Mm. That's nice. Mm. The shrimp, perfectly cooked not overcooked because we took care to not let it just kind of hang out in the pot. And the pineapple. You know how sometimes you eat pineapple on a pizza and it's just like, you bite into the pineapple and it just doesn't taste of anything other than pineapple. But this is different. This, the pineapple has sort of become one with the curry sauce. So you're getting like tartness, juiciness, sweetness, fruitiness, but it's also not something that just like stands out because the sauce has kind of penetrated its way into the pineapple piece itself. And that is the squeezing that is so important. That is not something you want to skip. It really makes a difference. That it doesn't matter if you're using fresh pineapple or canned pineapple, you want to squeeze them anyway. So I hope you give that a try. The recipe as always will be on hotthaikitchen.com and I'll link to that below. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, make sure you do so you don't miss a recipe like this and click the bell icon as well so you get a notification when I post a new video. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.